So welcome everyone to the first of our Stations of the Cross at St Matthews for Lent 2021. Uh, as many of you know, it's our tradition in St Matthews that on Wednesdays in Lent, we gather normally in the church to follow the Stations of the Cross, which are up around the walls of the church. Uh, and it's an opportunity for us to reflect on the journey that Jesus took to the cross, all that Jesus went through for us. And um, the stations are a mixture. Some of them uh, reflect the biblical account of what happened to Jesus on that final journey. Some of them reflect traditions that have grown up over the centuries as people reflected on what might have happened that day. And that's, for example, true of when we come to the uh, station about Veronica and one or two of the others too. So the way this is going to work, of course, we're not in church this time, we're, we're, uh, we're doing this virtually, but you're going to see the uh, images which are of the stations in St. Matthew's Church. In a minute, we'll say together the opening prayer, which is on the screen now. And then uh, as we go through each of the stations, there'll be a response halfway through each station uh, where we will say the words that are on the bottom of the screen. So if you can try and remember those, each time I say, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, and then we respond, by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. And the, uh, the resource I'm using this evening is actually produced by the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Liverpool, uh, and it was actually produced in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, so there's lots of prayers and opportunities to reflect on how that has impacted on us and how aspects of the story of Jesus's journey to the cross cause us to reflect on some of our experiences over the last year. So should we just take a moment just to be quiet as we begin this journey and then we'll say together the opening prayer on the screen. So we say together, Lord Jesus Christ, take me along that holy way you once took to your death. Take my mind, my memory, above all, my reluctant heart, and let me see what once you did for love of me and all the world. The first station, Jesus is condemned to die. Jesus was captured at night, taken away by soldiers, stripped of his garments, interrogated, tortured, crowned with sharp thorns, and handed over to be condemned to death by Pontius Pilate. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We continue to blame and condemn people unjustly. In these days, it's easy to blame the country where COVID-19 originated, to blame its people and government because of their action and inaction. We also blame people because of the color of their skin or their gender or their sexuality or their beliefs, because they were born with a disability, because they don't conform to our way of thinking. The, way is, the list is endless. So take a moment to call to mind an individual or a group who you know feel condemned and pray for them. Second station, Jesus takes up his cross. Jesus was led away carrying the cross by himself. A cross is not just a piece of wood. It is everything that makes life difficult. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you 
because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. There are burdens that we all carry. Some are very obvious and others we take great care to hide. As a world community, we have been carrying the burden of COVID-19. But there are burdens of other illnesses, of pain and disability, of old age, of dependence, and caring for someone who no longer knows who we are. So take a moment to call to mind a group or individual who is carrying burdens at this time and pray for them. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. Jesus falls, but struggles to his feet again and carries on the long road to Calvary. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Like the crowd, we often have only condemnation and rejection for those around us. We can judge them without knowing about their trials. In these days, are we aware of those we judge and we condemn because of their actions in the COVID-19 crisis? And so take a moment to call to mind anyone that you might have judged or condemned and pray for them. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. When Jesus and his mother meet, they just look at each other. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We see the pain in the mothers and the fathers who have been watching their children suffering from COVID-19, or those giving up their lives to drugs or addiction or even suicide. We see pain in the child coping with the breakdown of a parent's marriage, in the couple trying desperately to rebuild their relationship and their family anew. We see pain in the children of those watching and hoping as their parents fade away before them. So take a moment to call to mind anyone you know who is facing tragic family circumstances and pray for them. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus. Simon the Cyrene, a stranger in the city, did not know Jesus, but that did not matter. He was going to have to help anyway, and it no doubt cost him to walk the Jesus way. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Across our world we see human suffering in the faces of strangers, particularly in the anguish of those dealing with COVID-19, in the faces of those struggling for democracy, in the faces of those dealing with the loss of life and destruction of property. People we know of, but do not know, 
must live with the aftermath of the ravages and destructive forces of nature, coping with floods and droughts and with the effects of climate change. So take a moment to call to mind someone you know of who is suffering at this time. Pray for them and ask whether you are being prompted to help. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Veronica was so moved by the sight of Jesus' suffering that she is said to have courageously moved out from the crowd to wipe the blood and sweat from his face with a towel. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because your holy, by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Today, the visible face of Christ on earth, his church, stands before us still wounded and disfigured. Individuals suffering in so many ways, not least in the ongoing pandemic, but also disfigured by its own sins of power, of abuse, weighed down with the wounds of hurt and betrayal. So take a moment to call to mind your own church community and take a few moments to pray for them. The seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. Stretched to breaking point by his scourging, bowed under the weight of the cross, Jesus falls again. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. All around us, people are overburdened by crosses they carry. They struggle and they sometimes fall. There are those at this time who've lost their jobs and feel they have little hope of finding another. There are those who struggle desperately to keep others in work. Those who suffer because of failures in our financial or health or political systems. So take a mind to call to mind those you know of or have heard of at this time and pray for them. The eighth station, <clears throat> Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. The women of Jerusalem wept when they saw how Jesus suffered. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We weep for those who have COVID-19. We weep for the doctors and nurses and those struggling on the front line. We weep too for children who are abused, for women who are victimized, for the old who are forgotten, 
for people who starve in the shadow of abundance and for people who are homeless or in exile or seeking refuge. So take a moment to call to mind a group or an individual who are struggling at this time. Weep for them and pray for them. The ninth station, Jesus falls for the third time. Jesus falls for a third time, broken and exhausted physically and emotionally. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Many in our world today feel that they are at that moment of final falling that the burden of COVID-19 is perhaps too great to bear. We think of countries that are especially struggling to get on top of the pandemic at this time and have insufficient resources, of the medics who work so hard. And so let's take a moment to call to mind a group of an individual who are broken and exhausted and pray for them. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his clothing. As the clothes were stripped from Jesus, he was stripped of his dignity in front of an irreverent mob. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus continues to be stripped of his dignity today. And some of those who have had to endure treatment for COVID-19. And some of whom are so ill they don't know where they are. So take a moment to call to mind those hospital wards we've seen on TV. Full to bursting. Pray for those in them and those caring for them. The 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. Huge iron nails are hammered through his wrists and through his ankles. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus continues to be crucified in all those suffering in our world in the effects of COVID-19, in the 10 children who die every minute of hunger, in all those who are maimed or damaged or misdisplaced because of war, in all who are marginalized in our society for whatever reason, in all those who suffer abuse, in all those who are trafficked across the world and in the way the earth and its resources are exploited. So take a moment to call to mind those you are aware of 
who in these ways are crucified each day through the lives they're living and pray for them. The 12th station, Jesus dies on the cross. As the life of Jesus ebbs away, his words are not of condemnation or of pity for himself, but of forgiveness as he cries from the cross. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. There is much to seek forgiveness for in our world today, for hunger and poverty, violence, abuse, war, neglect and corruption. Maybe in these times we can remember those who stockpiled food out of panic, but with little thought for others. And so take a moment to call to mind a group or an individual that need forgiveness. Maybe even yourself. And take time to pray for them. The 13th station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. Mary takes the broken body of her son in her arms. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Mary's grief is our grief too. She stands with all parents who have held their children close to them in death. Those who've died in the pandemic. Those lost through accidents or acts of violence. Or those who died by suicide. Those who died suddenly or after illness and all who grieve for loved ones. So we take a moment to call to mind a group or individual that have lost someone close to those they love, maybe even yourself, and take time to pray for them. The 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. That night, his body lay in the dark earth. All those who had loved him felt emptied and exhausted. There seemed no longer any sense or purpose in anything. They closed the tomb and left. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. There are times when we are overcome by the darkness of the tomb, by the death that we experience each day, but the answer to all our grieving and despair lies in this place. The grain of wheat sown in darkness and in death has indeed yielded a rich harvest. Take a moment then to call to mind a group or individual who is placed in the tombs that life has created for them and pray for them.
And the 15th and final station. Jesus is risen. On Easter day, the sun rose. And so did the Christ, the firstborn from among the dead. Where he has gone, we will most surely follow. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Good Friday is never the end of the story for us and for the world. Christ is risen. This pandemic is not the final full stop. Christ is risen. The pain and suffering in the world are never the end of the story and will never defeat the truth that Christ is risen. So take a moment to thank God for the power of the resurrection, even over COVID-19. Call to mind anyone you know who needs resurrection in their lives and pray for them. So as our Stations of the Cross draw to a close this evening, let's say together this closing prayer. Lord, send down your abundant blessing upon us, your people, who have devoutly recalled the death of your Son. Grant us pardon and bring us comfort. May our faith grow stronger and our eternal salvation be assured. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So thank you everyone for joining in with our Stations of the Cross this evening. We're going to do this on every Wednesday through Lent, probably in this format as an online service and different people are going to be leading each week. Uh, you can either join uh, each week on uh, Zoom live or you can uh, watch the recorded version like this. So I do hope that you'll continue with us in that journey through uh, Lent. So hopefully see you this time next week, 6.30 next Wednesday. Uh, God bless and may God be very close to you uh, as you journey through Lent with him. See you next week. <laughs>